Okay, welcome back to this week's Cantonese studying. Uh, we're going to continue on this week with our study of the freshman story from Cantonese Learning Center. So last week, if you're tuning in for the first time, we did the first three chapters of that story. Uh, it's about the narrator um, uh, who was born in Hong Kong. She's grown up in the U.S. and she's going to take a teaching position to return back to Hong Kong as an adult, young adult, uh, sort of uh, very soon after graduating from college and uh, this week we're going to continue on with that we're going to do chapters 4, 5, and 6 so uh, 4, 5, and 6 it looks like it's about uh, basically all the all the things you have to do to get your housing sorted in Hong Kong so signing a contract looking for an apartment etc so uh, with that let's go ahead and get started okay so so chapter four is going to be about looking for an apartment, looking for a flat. Uh, chapter five will be signing the contract and then the rental contract. So it'll be interesting to see what new vocabulary we learn today, if it's going to be general vocabulary or a lot of very specific, um, you know, specific terms that may or may not be useful for us now, but certainly later on as we get more advanced together, then uh, the terms will become more useful. So. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll down to chapter 4. Okay, looking for a flat, chapter 4. One lao, one lao. So we'll start as always with vocab first. Drinking uh, green tea again today, by the way. Nothing new this week for, for tea selections. Uh, drinking uh, similar tea as in previous weeks, but it's a, a reliable, trusty, reliable tea for the live stream. So. so first we'll go through vocab. Um, so starting with paragraph one, we have yi ga nao, ju live, zhao dim, hotel, guai expensive, saw yi, therefore, you need to. Uh, let's see, this is a new one for me. Jun Jun Fai Jun Fai as soon as possible. One to look for. Oh, flat or house. Zhou to rent. Da Yi Yat the following day or second day. Dai to bring. De Tan, property, Gung Si, company, and finally, Wan Lao, look for a flat. Okay, and then paragraph two. Ging Ge, agent, Tai Lao, visit the flat, Tai Guo, visited, so you've seen it in the past, Se Ng Guo, four or five. Dan Wai, unit, Dan Wai, Do, both or also, Gok Tak, to feel or think, Mai, not be, Ge Ho, quite good. Mai Ge Ho, not that good. M Gan Yu, it doesn't matter. Ho Yi, can. Joy, again, Ke Ta, other, and then finally, for paragraph three, we have How May, later on, Jung, Jung Yu, eventually. I don't know if this is Yu or how this is pronounced, so we'll have to listen closely in the dialogue for that one. One Dou, to look successfully. So Dou, I think we've we've talked about this in the past, but do is used for like successfully completing a verb or an action. So mm do would be like unsuccessfully. One mm do unsuccessful. Yep, cheng lao is a flat. Cheng lao. Ho ho, very good. Yip ju, landlord. Gong ga, bargain. This is the same ga I think as in. Gatin, 
which is price. So gong ga, bargain. I'm assuming because it's gong ga, the verb speak, gong, that this probably means to bargain, as in like bargaining, versus something that is a bargain. But we'll find out in the dialogue. Peng zhao, getting cheaper. Yat sing, 10% or one tenth. Xun can say that. I think this also means like regard with regards to or regarding gay quite. And then finally, dai, good value. So I believe the Teach Yourself book talks about the difference between pang and dai. So you can say ho pang, which is cheap. Um, and you can say ho dai, which is also cheap. But dai is like more polite. So uh, if, if, for example, someone is giving you a gift, uh, you wouldn't tell them that the thing they gave you was ho pang because it's kind of implying like, oh, you didn't spend very much on me. So you might, you might, if you want to compliment them, uh, you could say, oh, it's whole day, it's a good value, good bargain, which kind of complements their skill in purchasing the thing, but it's not sort of demeaning the value of the thing. But then if you're just talking in general terms or talking about something that you bought, you could say whole pang. That's sort of my understanding of the difference, but they both in general terms Pang and Dai both mean cheap, basically, or a bargain or value. Okay, so we've gone through the vocab. We're going to listen to that, but I wanted to review again. So what was the... This chapter is all about looking for a flat. So we should hear maybe the narrator is browsing with the landlord or a real estate agent. Uh, maybe they're talking through options or visiting some places. Uh, we'll find out. So let's go ahead and listen to that. Lau, I de do got so ye you die say for one lau. Ye got you zow dim, ho gui, so ye you jun fi one oak joe. Die ye yet, lum siu de zow die no, hu de tan gong si one lau. De tan ging gay, die no de hu tai lau. Tai go say m go dan wai. Dan hai. 我們都覺得不是挺好林小姐說不重要可以再去其他地產公司找後尾在一間地產公司終於找到一層樓我們都覺得很好林小姐同業主講價平在一成都算挺大 uh, the narrator said she lives currently is living at a hotel after arriving in Hong Kong, uh, but it's very expensive. So the uh, I forget the woman who picked her up at the airport, Miss Miss Chan or Miss I think it's Miss Lum or something like that. Basically, uh, went with her to go look at some units. They went to the company, like the rental company, I think, and they went to see. I think she said four or five units. Um, but a lot of them, I don't know if it was a lot or most of them, were not very good. Uh, the, the second woman, Miss Lum, uh, said not to worry, that they'll look at some more. And then later on, they did look at some more. They found one that was quite good. And then something about, I would assume based on the vocabulary, something about they bargained and then and in the end, they felt that that one was a good deal. So that's sort of what I got out of it. I think I got rough in rough terms what the dialogue was saying. Uh, some of the words in the middle, uh, of course, the new words are they're easy to get stuck on when you hear a word that you don't know. Typically, I'll get stuck on that, and then I might miss the next sentence or two because I'm trying to remember what that word was. So that's something that will probably improve through time. Okay, so let's go through that. So starting with the first paragraph. Yi ga ji zhao dim ho guai so yi yu jun fai wan ok zhou wan ok zhou So the jun fai 
which was right here. That was the new word we learned for fast or quickly. Jun fai, wan ok zhou, and then I think zhou was to rent. Yeah, Joe was Joe was to rent, so she needs to quickly find a, a home to rent. So the second day or the next day, Lum So she basically led me to or brought me to. Uh, what was day tan? Day tan. Property. Okay, so the property company. Gongsi, if you recall, Gongsi is company. So this is the property company to search for units. Okay. Uh, day tan. Gingge. I think, was realtor? They tan king k or agent, okay. They tan the property agent, they tan king k, dying all they hai tai lao. Took the two of us to go look at units. Tai go se ng go dan wai, dan wai was unit. So I guess if that's a unit, then lao was just like a was uh, just basically building or uh, I look for a flat so like an apartment and then and then Dan Wai is a, f a unit so this is the same Dan as in Dan Te for like bicycle which is kind of like single I think Dan Dan and Sung are opposite, so Sung is double, Dan is single. So Dan Wai, I guess sort of makes sense. Wai is like space or person, so it's like one person, one unit out of the whole building. I think we have to keep in mind too that these units, I would assume, at least based on my experience, that there probably aren't too many um, like two flat or three flat buildings that you're going to be renting space from in Hong Kong. It's it's always going to be like mid rises or high rises. So it's going to be one big building with dozens and dozens of units at minimum. And so this is sort of like one unit in a, in a big building full of units. So then, so the property agent took them to go look at four or five. So, however, or but, uh, we both thought that uh, they're not very good. Oh, okay, so I misread, misinterpreted that a little bit. I think Lam uh, is basically telling her that they can go to uh, another another property company to look. So it's not just that they're going to go look for more units, which they will, but they're going to go to see another company, which will show them additional units, which makes sense. I mean, if you feel like the the current place isn't getting the job done, then you could go to another company, see if they have something different. Okay, and then how may hai yakan de tan gong si jong yu? I didn't hear this in the dialogue. This is sort of where I, I tripped up on some of the words here, but uh, let's assume it's jong yu. Jong yu. So how may how may hai yakan de tan gong si jong yu wan do yat chang lao? So later on or afterwards at a uh, property company and then whatever Zhongyu was 
Zhong Yu was what? Oh, eventually. Okay, eventually. That's a really good new word. I've never seen that. But being able to say eventually seems like that would be pretty useful to say. I'm finding in my uh, practice speaking off stream that when I'm speaking with real people and practicing speaking, there are certain words I'm using a lot. And it's <laughs> honestly, it's probably annoying for the people listening because it's like, yeah, how many times can you say OT, Yat-Yurung, or how many times can you say whatever, Yiking? But it's, you kind of use the vocabulary you have until you have more words to have more variety. So I think it's fine, but I, I could see myself using this eventually a lot once I remember the word. And then I think that's sort of what you have to do. And then they'll kind of naturally fall into the the right ratio of usage once you have enough of the words. But in the short term, if you only have a couple hundred words, you're going to use the ones you do know a lot. So, okay, so let's see, where did we leave off? We, we read uh, paragraph two. So then we said the first sentence here, uh, they eventually found a unit. Well, they we both thought it was good. So and the which I think was that that wasn't agent, right? Ging is agent. Yupju was landlord. Okay. So it's handed off from the agent to the landlord and Lam is being a she's being a good friend by basically bargaining with the landlord on your on the narrator's behalf and saying lam siu zai tong yip ju gong ga peng zao yup sing do xin ge dai so cheaper and then yup sing something regarded as a good deal so what was yup sing that's also a new one for me 10%, one tenth, yet sing. Okay, so I think it's saying that uh, cheaper by 10%. So, peng zao yet sing. So she got her a, got her a price of 90% 90, 90 of what the original price was. Peng zao yet sing, do xin ge dai. So everyone thinks it's a good deal. Yeah, so that was pretty good. Uh, there was that little bit of a mistake uh, around not, or miss, I missed that they were going to a second company. But I'm pretty comfortable with what we got there. A lot of good new vocab words, and then also pretty good reading comp or listening comprehension on that one. So we'll listen to it one more time, follow along, and then we'll keep it rolling to the next chapter. Let me restart that I was on the wrong, starting on the wrong paragraph. Okay, here we go. Dice 地产经纪带我们去看楼yeah, that was great. Uh, it'll take a while to get those new vocab words down, but I'm happy that the characters, most of the characters I'm familiar with, I, I get the meaning of the dialogue pretty thoroughly. So all in all, that was a pretty good chapter, I think. For for my current level, I think that was pretty good. 
Okay, so chapter five, sign the contract. Actually, before we go to chapter five, let's go back to that one word that I didn't know how to pronounce. See if we can hear that in the dialogue. So it was in the last, the last uh, paragraph, I think. Yeah, Jung Jung Yu. So if we go to the last third of that audio. 第四課,揾而再去其他地產公司揾。後尾,喺一間地產公司,終於揾到一層樓。Okay, so it was Jung Yu, Jung Yu. So kind of like fish, Yu, but Yu, different tone. So Jung Yu. And then also, let's double check this other, I think it's Yip Ju. 地都覺得好好。林小姐和業主講價。Yeah, Yip, Yip Ju was landlord, Yip Ju. Okay, great. Let's keep it going. So, chapter 5, sign the contract. So this is Tim, Tim Yer. Tim Yer. Sign the contract. I don't know, I wonder if this is the same team as in uh, Visa? Like a travel visa? Let's check that out. Tim Zing. Tim Zing is visa. So it has, looks like bamboo at the top. A hat. Two squares, two. Yep, so it looks like. Yeah, I think that is nice. It sort of makes sense. Contract, visa, travel documents. They're all sort of like official documents. I don't know what team on its own means. Does it mean anything on its own? Bamboo slips. Inscribed. Sliver. Label. Tag. Okay, so it's like a label or a tag. That makes sense. Team cut, pay by card, team Z to sign a document. So it's all related terms having to do with paperwork or documents or signing things. Cool. Okay, so vocab. Paragraph one has Gotong Lao, that flat, Gin Jok, construction, Min Jok, or uh, Min Jik, area. Gin juk means it, gross area. So like, I guess maybe un, undeveloped land or just a rough area of where something's being built. I'm interested to see how that relates to sign the contract. Tack is a foot, as in the measurement. Sat yong means it, net area. Okay, that makes perfect sense because satyong is, it means useful. So you could say, um, This car is very, or I guess it's, um, it's not useful, it's practical, right? Satyong is practical. So, This car is very practical. Yeah, functional, practical, sat yong. So, oh, that makes me, so I understand what they mean by area now. Area is like square footage. I thought, when I saw construction, I thought it was like new construction for a new building or something, but and that was kind of uh, reaffirmed with this concept of area. But really, I think what this means is square footage, like the, the area in the unit. So gross area would be like the total square footage, and then net area would be the usable square footage, so the actual square footage you can do something with. So that, that that's why this makes sense, because sat yung is practical. So it's basically saying pra the practical area as opposed to the total area.
Okay. And then uh, continuing on, we have LUT, LUT, which is rate, set your LUT, net rate. This must be like the monthly rate, the payment you have to make. Xun can say that. Tai Guo, Tai Guo, visited before. Zi Yao, Zi Yao, only. And then on to paragraph two. Ling Oi, besides. Go Cheng, high level. Lao, floor, as in level. Jing Di, more quiet or quieter. Jing Di. Hong Hei, air. Ho Di, better. Zhang Sao, decoration. I think this also can mean renovation, decoration. Ho Sun, is very new. Ho Lang, very pretty. Fan Tang, is the dining room. Ha Tang, is living room. Uh, Sui Fang, is the bedroom. I think you can also say Fun Fang for bedroom, which is like sleeping room. Fun Fang. Dei Fang is place. Continuing on the next page, we have Jai Ho Ge Dei Fang, the best place. Di Gan Ok, this flat or this house. Yi Ging, already. Wa Yi Ging, Zhou Ye. I already did those things. Yao Sai, completely. So I have I have something I have completely. Gasi, furniture. Din He, uh, electrical appliances. So I've seen I've noticed that in my vocabulary study and flashcards and other apps and things I've used that some appliances or some gadgets will end in He, and other gadgets will and in gay, like machine. So, uh, not sure when what you would use one versus the other. If uh, you're someone out there and you know, uh, send me a comment, let me know uh, when you would use hey versus gay, and uh, what the distinguishing features are of those two words. That'd be interesting to know. But this one is just saying generically electric gadget or electric appliance. So Dean Hay. Paragraph three. Kut Ding. Decide. Joe. Rent. So there's rent again. Ging Gay. Agent. Yer. Arrange an appointment. Yip Ju. Landlord. By the way, remember uh, a week or two ago, I think it was last week, we kept uh, struggling with Yer. And I kept saying, oh, I think this is wrong because I've only ever seen this with Dai Yer, which is approximately, well, here it is on its own. So that was a, a vocab word that came out of one of these stories that we should understand. Now, I think the definition here is a little bit clearer than whatever was in our flashcards. It just means arrange an appointment. To Yer is to arrange an appointment. But uh, it's good to know that that actually is something we should try to know on its own. Yip Ji, landlord again. Chut Lai, to come out. Team Yer, sign the contract. Team Yer. And then finally we have the last word here. Or I guess we have, no, that was the last, because this is part of the dialogue. Yeah, so that was it for that one. Um, this has a lot, I think, uh, uh, quite a bit uh, more new words for me, but a, a good mix of things I know as well. So I'll be curious to see how well I do on the listening portion. So let's start that now. Listen together. Dai 
，裝修都好新好靚，有一個飯廳、一個客廳同兩個房。最好嘅地方就係呢間屋已經有曬傢俬電器。我哋決定租呢層樓，經紀就約業主出嚟簽約。Wow! So this this couldn't possibly be more opposite from the previous chapter. This one was really difficult for me.、Um, Any time that there are numbers thrown around, I, I tend to struggle just because I I know the numbers, but、uh, sometimes, especially if it's anything beyond double digits,、uh, it kind of throws me just long enough for me to lose track. But basically, she was talking about how. There's the different square footage, as we as we mentioned in the vocabulary. I think she said the useful, usable square footage was 400 something, but I, I've missed on the details. And then she said that there was a living room, dining room. There were two bedrooms.、Um, something about the appliances were good, or something like that. And oh, she also said the decorations, or the yeah, basically the the Zhang Sao was very new. She liked it, so that was good. And then I think at the end, basically just decided to take the room. So,、uh, yeah, that one was pretty rough. There were a lot of a、uh, lot of areas I stumbled on. It's probably the first third or even the first half where I didn't feel like I was really、uh, hearing or or understanding anything that was being said. Probably because of all the numbers at the very beginning was throwing me off. So. Uh, that's good though, because if it was if it was all easy, then we wouldn't get any better. So it's it's good to struggle. It's good to keep going through the process, knowing that in, at the end of the day, when we're going through these things, it's not the last time I'm going to go through them. And as I said, I think at the very beginning of one of the first streams I did, my view is increasingly one of language learning is basically. You know, you're standing in front of a foggy mirror, and the more you, the more you read, the more you listen, the more you practice. It's kind of like as if the mirror is getting less and less foggy, and you can see with increasing clarity and sharpness、uh, how the language works and how to use the language. But it's just a process of repetition, really, and. You know, I think focusing more on consistency and repetition of practice, and less on perceived progress or results,、uh, is a good approach. Because a lot of the time, you're not going to be able to notice the results at the time that you're looking out for them. The results are kind of、uh, occurring in the background. So that's what I tell myself anyway: is not to worry so much about day-to-day -day progress. Just Stay the course, and things will improve. So, so given that, let's read through this together now and see if we can piece together a little bit better what was going on with some of these numbers and the decisions that were being made. And then, when we listen to it again, it should help us piece that together better. Okay, so. First of all, she says, "Gao Cheng Lao Ge Jin Zhu Min Zhe Lu Ba Che Lu Lu Let's see Lu Ba Che Lu Ba Che." So that、uh, flats, and then Jin Zhu. I think we said was construction. The construction. Area, the gross area, so the gross area, the flat's gross area, is look back tech, so six hundred, I'm assuming six hundred square feet, because this is feet, so. Bot is 100, so look bot is 600. I guess you can see the number here. 
Uh, I wasn't sure if they were going to have characters up here, but they actually just have the numbers. So look back, check. Okay, and then set young mean tick, say back, bat, bat sub tech, bat sub tech. So say back, bat sub tech is 480 square feet. If you live in a country with a predominantly large homes, that sounds like very little space, but it's all what you're used to. Hong Kong is a very dense city, lots of people and not a whole lot of space, so you have to be effect, uh, efficient and effective with the square footage that you do have. Okay, so usable square footage or uh, the practical square footage is 480 square feet. So then, Sat Yong Lut Yao Bat Sing. So the use, the practical rate, Lut, uh, where was that? Lut, the practical rate or net rate. Yao Bat Sing Shin Ho Go. Hmm, so I don't know what they're trying to say there. So the practical, the net rate is Bat Sing. Well, we said Sing was earlier, Sing was like a percentage off. What is Sing in this? context bot sing so i don't see any help here in the current vocab we can go back to the ne the previous chapter if we need to bot sing So yet yet sing yet sing is ten percent. So bat bat sing is eighty percent. Oh, so are they saying the rate as in the ratio maybe? I think that's what they're saying is basically. 4, 480 divided by 600. I can't do math right now. Let's let's pull up a calculator. That's pretty funny. I didn't think uh, I didn't think I'd need a calculator for today's stream. Yeah. So exactly, exactly that. 80 percent. So okay, that makes a lot more sense now. I thought rate they were referring to a monthly monthly rent or something like the rate for the monthly rent but actually it's saying the practical rate basically that the net square footage is 80 percent of the gross square footage yao bat sing shin ho go so it's regarded as very high i guess that means that it's efficient it's not a unit where the square footage is all chopped up in hallways or Depends on how you measure square footage or practical square footage or usable, but if it's all hallways or all, you know, not really the space that's considered usable corners and things, that's what would impact your net, uh, net usable square footage. If it's like uh, utility closets and things, things that you can't really use that would go against your usable square footage. So. They're saying this is considered pretty efficient that 80% of the square footage is actually usable. Okay. So that was a pretty, pretty tough paragraph, but I think we made our way through it. Uh, oh, we didn't we didn't finish it actually, just those sentences. So So I I saw uh, many of these 
I visited many of these before, these flats, and the use, usable square footage is only uh, 50%. I guess we, we need to be making better use of the English here when we get stuck. So they said only 50%. Only 50%, right. So 80% is good. The other ones that she saw were something like 50% 50, 50 Okay, now we're on the next paragraph. So paragraph two says, So besides, um, because it's high level, so 26th floor, So it'll be quieter and better air. Zhong Sao Do Ho Sun Ho Lang. So So the reno the decoration or the layout is both new and beautiful. Here there the book is making mention that the Do is actually emphatic. So it's really just reinforcing that it's Do Ho Ho Sun Ho Lang. It's very new, very pretty. Yao Yuk Go Fan Tang, so one uh, kitchen or dining room, I guess Fan Tang is, yeah, because uh, Choi Fong is kitchen, so Fan Tang is dining room. One dining room, Yuk Go Hak Tang, one living room. Tong Learn Go Fong, Learn Go Fong, two rooms. Here it's making note that if you're saying it in that context, then room means bedroom. Learn Go Fong. Okay. Jai Ho get a fong, Zhao Hai, Li Gan, Ok, Yi Ging, Yao Sai, Gasi, Din Hei. So the best area is then, let's see, this one I'm not sure on the translation, so I'm going to use the English for this. So the best place that is this flat already completely has furniture and electrical appliances. So it's basically a, a it's already furnished is what they're saying here. So Jai Ho get a Fong Zhao Hai Li Gan Ok Yi Ging So already Yao Sai Ga Si Din Hei Something I'm, I'm noticing in this particular chapter is lists of things without any words in between. So Ga Si Din Hei so furniture and appliances that's kind of interesting because you, it's nice to not have to put a bunch of like yaos like or tomai or anything in between you can just say lists of things back to back i don't know what the rule is for that but just something i noticed they did that earlier here as well ho sun ho lang without saying do ho sun tong mai ho lang or tong ho lang or yao ho lang Okay, and then lastly, Ngo Dei Kyu Ding Zhou Li Cheng Lao Ging Ge Zhao Yu Yip Ju Chu Lai Tim Yu. So we decided to rent this flat. Ging Ge is agent. Ging Ge Zhao Yu arranged a meeting. Ging Ge Yao Jiu Yao Zhao. Your yip, yip ju, the landlord, to lie to come. Team your come and sign. And I guess that was it. The last paragraph was really short. Wow, so in contrast, the first two paragraphs are pretty difficult. This last one was pretty straightforward. It makes sense to me. We decide, rent, um, agent then arranged for the landlord to come out and sign okay so let's follow along see if we can better make sense of some of the faster earlier parts of this chapter including the the numbers 
and the usable square footage. Gotang 最好的地方就是這間屋已經有些傢俬電器。我們決定租這層樓,經紀就約業主出來簽約。Okay, great. It's amazing how much the the reading will help. If your listening comprehension is not quite right, the reading definitely reinforces it. So it's important to do both. I like to bounce back and forth. I'll listen to something new the first time. Usually for material I'm studying uh, offline, I won't even look at the vocab. I'll just listen to the dialogue once, and then I'll only get a few parts of it, then try to read it, and then um, once you read it, then you can listen again. And then the nice thing is the next day you've probably forgotten enough of the dialogue that when you listen to it again, it's almost almost as good as the first time you listened, so you can get um, additional practice listening. Of course you'll remember some of it, so it's slightly easier than the first time you listened, but you can still get decent practice. So that's usually what I'll try to do is anytime I want to practice a, a piece of writing, I'll listen to it the first time, the first part of the study session, and then read again. Okay, so that's it for chapter 5. Onwards to chapter 6, our final chapter for today. So, rental contract, Zhou Yu, which now that we reviewed the previous chapter's vocab, we, this makes a lot more sense now, right? Because Zhou is rent, and then Yu was, uh, I guess it was to arrange Europe by itself was to arrange as in to arrange an appointment, but here it kind of means like rental agreement or rental arrangement, which is a rental contract. It's an agreement or an arrangement. So oh you can see here they even explicitly say another another definition for this. Um, this word is contract. So your So let's go through the vocab, starting with paragraph one. Team is to sign. Your contract. Dayat lin, first year. M hoi, cannot. M jo, don't rent. Dayi lin, the second year. Dayi lin. Hoi, can. Gam yang, in this way. Jo, to do or to be. Yet lin sang. One year is non binding. Yet lin say. One year is binding. Kesa. Actually. Sang yer. Non binding contract. Say yer. Binding contract. Ju yu. Ju yu. Main. Ju yu. Tai ha. Tai ha. Depends. Take a look. Jo ha is tenant. So this is the same ha as in gu ha customer. It's actually it, the ha is used in a lot of places, but I was thinking gu, gu ha customer, which would help me remember this because jo ha is basically rental rental customer, so tenant. Jo ha tenant. Yip ju, landlord. Deem king, how to negotiate or how to speak. Deem king. Okay, paragraph two. Leng oi, besides. Tong sarang, usually or generally. You, need to. Bei, give. On gum, 
deposit. So safety, I think that's the character for safety. Let's double check that. On chain. Oh, it's actually not, it's different. So safe, on, it's a little bit different. It's similar though. This has a sow on the left hand side. So, number one here, on deposit down payment. But it has the component for safety. So, kind of makes sense because this is gum is gold or money. So, deposit on gum, deposit money. Okay, and then continuing on for paragraph two, we have Sarn K, advance payment, Tik Hai means law to get, saucy keys, saucy, Guazan at that time, Tik Hai immediately, Do Gum, rent, rental money or rent money. Oda, many or a lot. Mean, mean, doke, mean, doke, rent free period. And then finally, paragraph three. Yi is and, besides, instead. So two relationships between two sentences. Yong, yong gum, yong gum, commission. So right hand side, it has yong for use. Left hand side is a yun person, so together that means yong. And then gum is gold or money, so apparently that means commission. Fong mean, talking about aspect. So liko fong mean, this, this aspect. Dei chan, dei chan gong si. And then property company, which we learned in chapter four when we started today. Okay, so. This one has a lot of new words, so I don't have a high expectation I'll understand it on the first listen, but that's okay. Um, there's a lot of good new words in here. Saucy is a good word. I, I know how to say that word, but I haven't studied how to read read those characters. So keys, that's an important word. Um, there's a lot of good words in here. This uh, contract, these contract words would be good to know. Some of these might be, you know, specific for now. Might not need to uh, worry about knowing them too well for now. But this seems like a common thing. You'd want to know how to rent an apartment. You'd want to know how to talk through these situations. Okay, so let's let's listen, see how we do, and then we'll read through. Dayanin 我業主就給了7日免租期我。而佣金方面,租客同業主都是要給半個月租金地產公司. Yeah, so that was pretty difficult. Um, they were talking a bit at the beginning about the contract. How the first year you can't rent, the second year you can. It's a two-year contract that she's signing with the partial binding, one year's binding, one year's not. And then she's talking about, uh, I think it was common, it's common that you give two months deposit, something like that. Um, something about how you can negotiate. And then from there, I didn't catch most of the rest of that. It was, it was essentially the details of the terms and how to get your keys and pay the rent. But uh, very fuzzy for me that some of the combinations of Sentences with combinations of multiple vocab words. I'm not. I'm just now learning, so pretty difficult. Uh, but let's go through it now and see if we can pick up on more of the meaning. So 
So paragraph one. Well, they team learn lean your. So we sign to your contract. Da yap lean mhoi mjo. So first year, you cannot not rent, which I think basically means it's like a, a binding lease. So if you break the lease, you're going to have to pay some fee. So you have to rent at least the first year. Um, the second year, you're able to not rent. So you, it's kind of flexible the second year. So they call it uh, a one-year life or one-year non-binding, one-year binding. So something about actually binding or not um how are they using ju yu here ju yu binding or not mainly it mainly depends okay tai cuz i'm used to tai ha just being mean, meaning to take a look but here it means depends uh zhou ha tenant tong yi ju landlord dim king so actually, this this whole thing depends on how you negotiate with the landlord. Okay, makes sense. So then, paragraph two. Ling oi tong sung do yu bei learn go yu on gum. So besides, usually, uh, you need to give two months deposit, which is what we had said. Um, you need to give two months deposit. Yoko yu sung k sung k. So one month regular rent or advanced. Oh, okay, advanced payment. Yoko yu sung k sung k. That's that's totally new to me. So one month advanced payment. Saw yi zi hai law saw si. So saw yi zi hai law saw si. So therefore, it means that um, at the time you, you get the keys, was uh, I thought Zikhat was oh immediately. So what oh do do hot do hot is Tenant. Zik hak. It's a different hak, different tone. Jo hak is tenant. Zik hak is immediately. So at the time you pick up the keys, you need to immediately bay sam go yu. Jo gum yip ju. You need to immediately pay three months rent to the landlord. Ho da yip ju we bay bay mean jo ke. Bay mean jo ke. So a lot of landlords will give mean zhou ke, something to tenants. I forget what mean zhou ke is. Mean zhou ke. Oh, rent-free period. Okay. So rent-free period. They'll give that to the tenant. Uh seven days. So my landlord uh gave me Bezo gave me seven day rent free period. Wow, pretty dense dialogue for for new words. Okay, yi yong, so and yong gum, yong gum, so commission, yi yong gum fong mean, so that the commission aspect, zhou hat 
同業主都係要俾本本個月租金地產公司。So the the renter, the tenant, and the landlord both need to give half a month's rent to the property company for helping them get connected. So in total, the property company is getting one month rent. Is what it sounds like. Half the month's rent is provided by the tenant. Half the month is provided by the landlord. So the property company is really making out on this deal. Okay, so we're going to listen to this one more time, and then we're done with our new chapters for the day. But we'll move on to our review, as always. I've got a, something a little bit different for the flashcard review, so we'll talk through that in a moment. But let's listen to the dialogue one more time. Okay. 第六课租约，我哋签两年约，第一年唔可以唔租，第二年可以唔租。佢哋叫咁样做，一年生，一年死。其實生約定死約，主要睇下租客同業主點傾。另外，通常都要俾兩個月按金，一個月上期，所以即係攞鎖匙嗰陣就要即刻俾三個月租金業主。好多業主會俾免租期租客，我業主就俾咗七日免租期我。而佣金方面，租客同業主都係要俾半個月租金地產公司。Wow, so this is a lot of new words, a lot of new words here. So、um, that'll lead into what I wanted to bring up with the flashcard review, which is I, I want to start doing flashcard review that maybe is a little bit more relevant for the material that we're studying. So and so. Prior to today's stream, we've been doing flashcard review just in general. So that includes all the all the flashcards I've been studying, both on stream and off stream. It includes、uh, words for all sorts of things that,、uh, if you're following me on the streams, you, it's material that you haven't even seen. Teach yourself or other dialogues. So I'm thinking for the stream, we'll try it out for the next several weeks, maybe next several stories. But I'm thinking for each new story, we should、uh, primarily focus on flashcard review for that particular story. And so, to that end, I've created a new temporary、uh, deck of cards for this particular story called the Freshman. And what we'll do is we'll expand this each week to include all of the chapters that we've studied up to the current week's point. So that means today we've gone through chapter six of the freshman. So I've got a deck here that is、uh, supposed to be all the new words for chapters one through six, and then next week we'll have one through nine and so forth. So that when we finish the story at the end, we can go through all the words that we learned in the story as kind of a final summary before moving on. Of course, I'll still be studying all the words that I'm learning in all the different avenues. Both off offline and on stream,、uh, but this way, I think it'll make the vocab we're looking at a little bit more useful or relevant for the actual stream stream audience. And then,、uh, depending on how it goes, we'll either continue this way or we can go back to studying all the words. I, I haven't tried this offline to see if this is going to be useful yet, so let's just try it out and see how it goes. Okay. So first one, Zhongguang is China. Is that actually? Yeah, it says it's in the fresh in fr the freshman 1.3. So we must have learned that last week. Okay, let me just double check quickly to make sure the filtering is working fine here. Is one does 1.3 actually include Zhongguang? One dot three. 
So is that paragraph three, I guess? Yeah, okay, so it does have it does have Chung Kwa. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that we're we're looking at the right thing here. So Chung Kwa is China. Chung Kwa. Okay. So that's easy. Si hao. Si hao is after. Afterwards. Si hao. This is uh, Sam. Is this fun? Sam fun si. San Francisco. Fan. Sam. Fan si. Sam fan si. Sam fan si. Okay. Yan wei. Yan wei is because. Yan wei. Chu sai is born. Chu sai. And together with. So this, we, we know lots of words now for what this could be. This could be. Tong mai. This could be yi. This could be tong. This could be yao. So in this case, it's tong mai. Tong mai. Uh, this is mun something. I think this was the one that meant culture. So I think this meant mun. Is this mun fa or mun something like that? I think it means culture. Mun fa. Mun fa. So I'll say good, but that was kind of a stretch. Mun fa. Mun fa. Zi uh, hai only. Zi hai. Zhou ye to do something. Zhou ye. Business is gong si. Gong si. Guo zhen. Is this at that time? Gao zhen. Like, similar, together, alike, with. Um, is this hou qi? Hou qi. Oh, tong. Tong. Together, I guess, would be what I would say. Tong is supposed to be together. Uh, is this mami? Mami. Mami. Especially is uh, duck beat. Duck beat. Hui guo is to have gone, have been to. Hui guo. Mei guo is America. Mei guo. Uh, loi loi hung loi hung is this is this vacation or travel to travel journey trip loi hung loi hung. Mei Guo Yan is American. Mei Guo Yan. Ooh, do not know this character at all. Pi. School group. Style. So, what chapter was this from? This is Freshman 1.2, so it's the very first chapter. It's, this is kind of the benefit of. Um, more specific vocab is we can spend a little bit more time trying to go back and look at the origin of some of these words if we don't remember them. So 1.2 had pi to send. Okay, so this I th this was when the narrator's father was sent back to America at the beginning after she was born. So in this context it meant send pi Hi. To dispatch. Here we go. So to dispatch. To send. Pi. This one is. Is this so? So. Yeah. So. Um. This was gate. Gate. Gates at. Gates at. This was reporter, right? Gates at. Gates at. Gates at. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Fan to return. Fan. Yatsi. Yatsi is one time. Yatsi. First time, once. First. Yatsi. Zhongyi. Zhongyi is to like. Zhongyi. Uh, 
今年 this year。今年。所以 therefore。所以。呃，住喺 so live at 住喺。住喺。住喺。Pi to send or dispatch。Pi。三藩市，三藩市。三藩市，三藩市，嗰陣，嗰陣，嗰陣。At that time， 出世 ，is、um, to be born。出世。Like same similar together， we said was 同。同。文化 was culture。文化。文化。旅行 was to travel。旅行。旅行。媽咪 was 媽。媽咪。Pi was to send or dispatch. Pi. Pi. 記者 was reporter. 記者。Okay, so we finished. So let me double check while we're here. Yeah, it's interesting that we didn't get any of today's new words. I think it's because the settings for this deck only let us study so much per day. I'll probably have to take care of that offline because I do feel like we went through that pretty quickly, and part of the goal is I want to make sure we're seeing the same words that we just learned in the vocab review. And、uh, unfortunately, I feel like most of that was review from last week, which is fine. But、uh, I would want to make sure we have some of this week's material as well. And I'm not seeing here at the moment how you. There, there's an option to allow you to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to do it offhand. There's an option to allow you to expand the limit for how many reviews you're going to do per day. Maybe it's under preferences. Yeah, I'm not sure. So I'll, I'll take a look at that offline. So maybe this seem. This seemed kind of nice to me that it, it was words that were new, that were fresh, that we were just learning in this story. I just want to make sure that we're also getting the current week's words as well in the review. So I'll take that,、uh, take some time this week, try to get that fixed, so that in coming weeks we're seeing the new words that we just learned in the current week as well. But、uh, With that, we we've successfully gone through, I believe, almost half of the freshmen so far. It's it's going quickly. We're we're making good progress. We're doing, you know, roughly three chapters a week. So,、um, again, if you have any comments, any additional material that you'd like to see me cover during the live stream, I'm I'm open to suggestions. I know at some point we'll do some YouTube stuff. There's some other, plenty of other、uh, free and non-free resources out there for Cantonese. Uh, I think it used to feel like there wasn't much out there, but、uh, last five years or so, there's been a real increase in material. So, no more excuses for for learning. There's plenty of material out there. But if you have something in particular you'd like to see on this channel, whether it be something for me to study on the live stream with you, or something that you want to see me create some videos about or some reactions to, just、uh, send me a comment, send me a message on YouTube, and I'll take a look at it. So. Uh, that's it for this week, and I'll see you again same time next week. And have a good rest of your or a good start to your week. And、uh, we'll be back here again same time next week. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll talk soon.